Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. So here we have a text and the text gives us the direction for questions that there is a passage below which is accompanied by a set of questions. We need to choose the answer to each question. So as far as we have already discussed this text and uh, I hope you have understood the text too. So the text is nothing but uh, giving ideas about the astronomer Conrad Asel, uh, Aselkosh and uh, uh, he's written the description of heaven in the year of 1623. And uh, we also talk about that uh, the author uh, presents uh, nothing but a uh, idea to trace the historical development of the Christian concept of heaven. And uh, while discussing that, he also emphasizes the shift from a spatial understanding based on traditional cosmology to a more abstract and non-physical non interpretation influenced by customary beliefs. So now uh, on the basis of the text, we have a question which is appointed. The passage suggests that Conrad Asil Kirsch description of heaven was influenced by the cosmological beliefs of his time. Which of the following is a necessary assumption? Now it is an assumption based question. So we need to determine or decipher one of the region which will uh, make the statement true. Isn't it? Let's look at the each option here. So the first option said the Christian concept of heaven has always been aligned. The Christian concept of heaven has always been aligned with the prevailing cosmological beliefs. Okay. So look into the next option. So what does the next option point out? The next option says, uh, Conrad Asselker's description of heaven was the only perspective on the subject of his time. Okay. Now moving to the third option. So third option points out, Conrad Asselker's understanding of heaven remained not changed throughout his life. Right. And option four stated what? Conrad Asselker's was aware of and influenced by the radical uh, new ideas about the universe in his era. Now, if I look into that, the passage mentioned that Asselker's was an astronomer in the first place itself. Isn't it? So, uh, and working at a time when radical new ideas about the universe were challenging traditional beliefs. Isn't it? So what does it say? Uh, it is stated that means he was working as an astronomer, working at a time when radical new ideas about the universe were challenging traditional tasks right? uh, or traditional beliefs. This implies that his understanding of heaven would have been influenced by these cosmological developments, isn't it? Now, if I look into the option one, which is referring to the alignment of the Christian concept of heaven. So, uh, and also stated about what? Uh, Christian concept of heaven with cosmological beliefs. It does not directly address Asal Kirsch's influence or awareness of this belief. This is not uh, you can't say that assumption to this. Right? This cannot be called as an assumption. So, um, <clears throat> uh, which is required to support the statement about Aselkus. So, it can be, you can say that uh, incorrect or eliminated. Now, look into the option two. So, option two stated about Conrad Aselkus' description of heaven was the only perspective on the subject of his time. Whether Aselkus' description was the only perspective on heaven right so or not is not into the context it is irrelevant in the uh, text right so uh, or you can say that irrelevant to his influence of cosmological beliefs of his concern so this answer answer can be eliminated too so option 3 which is stated Conrad Aselkus understanding of heaven remained unchanged throughout its life now, the passage does not mention about that. The passage does not mention, doesn't mention what? Doesn't mention uh, anything about whether Aselka's understanding of even remained unchanged throughout his life. So, this is not a necessary assumption 
uh, to be drawn from the statement about his influence by the cosmological belief. So this option also eliminated too. So look into the option four, which is the last one. So we uh, understand that this could be the option, but let's see that how does this option would be corrected. Conrad Asilkas was aware of and influenced by the radical new ideas about the universe in each era, right? So if, if Asilkas was unaware of and not influenced, unaware, unaware of and not influenced and not influenced, not influenced by the radical new ideas about the universe. It would be, uh, you can say that unreasonable, unreasonable to conclude that his description of even was influenced by cosmological belief. So this gives you the assumption to it. So hence we can consider the option four is the appropriate or most appropriate statement or assumption to make the statement to be true. I hope you understood. That's all. Thank you.